Earlier this year, the Trusted to Care report into two hospitals in the Abatawe Bromoganuk area revealed matters of real and deep concern in the way that some elderly people in some parts of those hospitals were receiving the care that we would all like to see them receive. There are some deep rooted issues which that report points to and which are being worked through by the local health board and by colleagues here in the Welsh Government. But there were four very immediate issues in the direct care of patients in those two hospitals which I felt we needed to seek assurances were not being replicated in other parts of the NHS here in Wales. Now the report of Professor Andrews was very clear that while this care was very often directly provided by nurses, the responsibility for what had gone wrong was shared by others too. It was shared by pharmacists, it was shared by doctors, and it was shared by hospital managers as well. Now, in order to seek the assurances that we needed, we set in train a spot check programme across the whole of Wales. We put together a team of people that represented all of those interests and we've had it overseen by three very senior people representing all those strands. So Professor Andrews herself has been involved to make sure that the nursing dimension was fully covered. Professor Phil Rutledge, who chairs the All Wales Medicine Strategy Group, has represented the interests of pharmacy and clinicians. And Sir Ian Carruthers, a former very senior administrator in the English NHS, has overseen the process to make sure that the contribution of senior managers is captured in all of this as well. So in June and July of this year, our team of inspectors visited 20 hospitals across Wales and 70 wards in those hospitals. They arrived unannounced and they concentrated on the four key areas that the Trusted to Care report had identified. They talked to patients, they talked to staff, they were able to go wherever they wanted to go and they have produced a very comprehensive set of reports that I think provide us with a real sense of assurance about the way that care of older people is being discharged in our acute hospitals in Wales. In three of the four areas, they broadly report that the system that we have works well. We can be confident that the way we do things in Wales provides a high level of care to those people who are dependent upon the care that we provide. In medicines management, there were issues that emerged in many places in Wales. They were generally to do with the physical conditions in which medicines are stored and the way that they are administered. Wherever those issues were raised, they were reported immediately to senior staff at the hospital and those matters began to receive attention from the very outset. Now, under the leadership of the Chief Pharmaceutical Officer for Wales, Professor Roger Walker, we have a task and finish group to make sure that we grip this issue and bring about the necessary improvements right across the Welsh NHS. That in turn reports to a new board, jointly chaired by the Chief Medical Officer and the Chief Nursing Officer, to make sure that we learn everything there is to be learnt from the Trusted to Care experience and that we go on providing care for older people in our general hospitals of a sort and of a standard that we would want for ourselves and which would make us proud of the work the service provides. I come away from this whole experience heartened by the work that the spot checks teams have done, confirmed in my belief that the primary motivation of those people who work in looking after older people in Wales is one of careful and compassionate care driven along by a sense of real professionalism and pride. Where things go wrong, we're determined to respond to those things, to take them as seriously as we can, to learn everything we can from that, and then to put measures in place that go on giving us and those people who rely on our services the confidence that 
everything is as it needs to be in the Welsh NHS.